Hello. Oh man, I'm just gonna do a surprise. Um, says my thing is not working again. Well, I just look for it. All right, welcome back to another video. So today, you know that we finished the entire more Prani Suite of us 24 entirely. So today we'll be to doing a little analysis on how I compose this suite and each for each person, right? So um, let me see here. But before that, I just want to show something. Something on Zoom, something new on Zoom. <laughs> Avatars wants a raccoon. Give me a second, it's loading. Yeah, there we go. Hello. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, so update the Zoom. Yeah. Cow. Wants a cow. Mm. <laughs> All right. Now let's stick with this first. Well, actually, nah, not double cow. Um, wait, how did I <laughs> Whoops. Okay, now I don't know how to change it. Uh, oh, here it is. Doggy. No, it's the doggy. <laughs> All right, so today, yeah, I already said what we're doing today. I forgot. So since we have already, we also have the second movement. If you guys didn't see the community tab, um, we have the second movement of the more Prairie suite also on Spotify. Um, it's a dream to get my music on Spotify. It's been what I've been wanting for a while. And also we've got Audio Mac now. And yeah. Give me a second, I better try to find some. I don't think Okay. Intermission, give me a second. How do I stop it? How does this? Oh, it's from Audio Mac. Okay. Uh, sharing screen. It's just screen. So, yeah, here it is. We have it on Spotify. And yeah, it's one of the. It's also the most one of the most the special most special female movements of the entire suite. So five females and four males. It should be five males and five females, but because I didn't include myself in there, so it would be four males. So you uh, guys heard this. If guys didn't, just check it out. But I, uh, today we will have the entire suite posted on YouTube, so you guys can see that as well. Just wait, be patient and wait because it's a, it's about thirty seven minutes, so it's gonna take a while to edit. I mean, I already edited it yesterday, but because I I forgot to change something, I had to re-edit it and then to re save it to my photos. Uh, yeah, right now stuff is really complicated these days. So we have all the sheet music with the entire more Prani suite here. So the first movement, the earliest one. So, okay, so let me show you guys. I should be able to, um, actually before that, let me see, let me see if I can do this. Um, what words? Let's do this, share, open it. So first, we have the first one, don't we? Justitia. Um, so we have the first, we use type first. So we have one. First have the first movement, Justitia. Oh, I just, I just, So, so, anyone who does not use the desktop mode and then doesn't see my 
Is the tab, it's okay because they have everything here, right? Uh, Van Gallo is the third. The names are made the okay, so the English there's a English, it's all Italian, right? Wait, why do I have this? this you don't know what gratitude means, it's just me. Yeah, I think gratitude just comes from Italian or Latin, Latin, but I don't. If I if it's Latin, I've never learned that word. I should know, I already you guys should already know I study Latin. Um, what is this doing? I can't see what I type. This is going to cause a lot of typos. Then, what's the seven again? Oh, yeah, Aoda. E, uh, I. Um, Revita. So, we have all movements here. So, we have okay, so we have one, we have one, we have one, five, six, seven as the male movements. And we also have the female movements, which is the red. Two, three, four, eight. So, um, yeah. So, wait, what was I gonna say? Um. Yeah, so basically the keys of each is a downward chromatic scale, basically represented by a downward chromatic scale from B my B to E flat. All of them are minor. For some reason, weirdly, I can I can barely make up major themes. I usually can only think of minor themes. I personally uh, advocate minor themes better than major. Even though I have some pieces that are very beautiful that are in major, like coin gold violin concerto, <laughs> but I prefer minor. So it's a downward, right? So one is B minor. Oh, well, I'm just gonna write the numbers because it's easy to write in num Roman numerals. One is B minor. Two is B flat. Three is A minor. Okay, forget the four is B sharp. Five is G minor. This goes on. I'm just gonna six is. F sharp, seven is, seven is F minor, yeah. Eight is E minor. Personally, I like, um, the, my favorite keys are B flat minor, E minor and A minor. These are my top three most favorite keys. Yeah, here are all the keys. One is B minor, so it's just a downward chromatic scale by once every semitone. Then, yeah, the, the order is by age. So, I mean, according to months, because we're all about, we're all the same grade, we're all eighth grade. Um, so if I were in here, I would be at four and then 
there's 10 of us, right? So yeah, I would be four if I were in there, but because I, I didn't put myself in there, I Oliva is four. Um, and the names are supposed to made to are made to sound like the real names of the people. The, the Italian is not made to sound like the real name, but the English translation, like what Giustizia is justice. And then his name, the person is Justin. Uh, wait. And this, so hard to control this new whiteboard. Uh, you know what, I just changed this. And, and then his lovable leader, it's, uh, it's the only, it's the only movement that has two, it's the only movement that's name is two words long. Um, Bangalore Evangel. Oliva Olive. Um, rectitude and righteousness. Um, Triumpho Triumph, written for Tristan. Elto, A Aiden. Smeraldo. And you see, I'm not mentioning all the names, all the people's real names, because they can't go on YouTube and I don't want to do a full disclosure, but the ones that can go on YouTube I've mentioned, so yeah. Uh, then the last one is brevity. Yeah, so it's a very, um, that's how I got these names, right? So, and then I used Google Translate. Google Translate's uh, grammar sucks and is very degraded by 10 million. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. Okay. Anyways, uh, Gustitia, Amabil Capo, Vengelo, Oliva, Retitudine, I think I'm pronouncing it right, Triunfo, Eilto, Smeraldo, Revita. And then, so each of these have a specific form here. Each of these has a specific form. Male movements, they have, okay, so all movements, they're, they they're not all totally mutually exclusive. All movements are in ternary form. I don't know what it is. I'll show you today. Some music theory for you guys. I am not an expert on music theory. I totally never, um, learned especially, I never seriously learned music theory, but I know some like diminished chords, diminished sevenths, uh, dominant sevenths. And then there's also the chord progressions like, uh, I don't know, but I also know relative key. Some of these, some of these music theory I know, but I'm not an expert, so don't interrogate on music theory. Even though I have perfect pitch, I'm not a, I'm not a music theory expert. Um, all movements are in ternary form. If you don't know, ternary form is A, B, A. Out there is A, B, that's, a, that's like Pagnini Caprice number 24, and um, I think that's A, A, B, B though. And then there's Rana form, A, B, A, C, A, B, A, C, A, wait a minute. <laughs> the A, B, A, C, a B A. That's a one turn. That's one option for ternary. I mean, no, that's not, not ternary. Not ternary. Ronda form. That's one format. Right? And there's also uh, Ronda format. Also has another option. I think it's A B C B A. I'm not totally sure, but I think so. All movements are in ternary form, and then so male movements. So the focus of each movement right now is the A section. Focus. Male and female movements is the A section. Each one has a different version because 
Except for the most special ones. These special ones have to. So the first, male movements. Male movements, the A section. A section is, okay, so the, it begins with the introduction, a powerful introduction. Then it goes to the first A of the A section. Then it goes to B section. Then it goes to C, then B, then A. Then One way of saying this, I, I'm, I'm, I think, I'm not sure, but it's to say, so A section, right? There's A1, then A2, then A3, then A2, again. I think that's one way. Don't judge because I don't know music theory, how to write how to write music very well. Um, but um, then we have the B section, obviously. You know what, I'm gonna make a new slide. Uh, don't have space here. Um, okay, new slide. Okay, how do I do a new slide now? Oh gosh, this is a new version of Zoom. So I'm, I first started using, I just started using this uh, whiteboards, new, new whiteboards feature, uh, this new version of the whiteboards feature. So don't. Then we have the B section. Usually it's um, B1, B1 again. Then we repeat the A section. Why is my cursor so weird? Why is it the, this is so weird. Um, don't need that, what? Sometimes, um, It's just a repeat. A four. Oh wait, no, there's no A four. A two. I can't see, dude. Um, then we have the introduction again to end. Usually, it ends up in a uh in a fade out version or either it would just go like done or something like the giant chords together or with the grace notes like the the grace note one is uh five and six and then the the fade out ones are like one and seven yeah one and seven so now to the female movements female movements, it begins, it doesn't, there's no specific introduction. We just go directly to the A section. Sometimes it does have an introduction, but rarely. An A section, instead of going like A1, A2, A3, A2, A1, it goes A1. A1 again, and then that's it for the A section. The B section, there's no specific form for the, instead of like the, the A, instead of like the male section, so that it's different. And then B, and then A section. This, the female version is like, female movements are more simple than the, 
Yeah, so it's, it's so like, yeah, look how long the male ones are. So now we're gonna just go through. First of all, we have from bars, okay, so that's introduction from bars one to eight. That's the introduction. Da, 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 da. Usually the A1, I mean, the introduction and the A1 usually have the same thing, but um, sometimes it can be different. The only one that is the same is like only, I mean, in the A1 section, it has like a small variation of the first, of the introduction. So one bars one to eight is the introduction. Then bars nine to bar 16. Bar nine to bar 16 is just the A1 section. Uh, A1, A1, then B, A2. I can sing, sorry. So this is A2, bar 17 to bar 20. Then bar 21 to bar 28. 21 to 28, A3. Then A2 again, 29 to, 29 to 32. Then 33 to, 33 to, 40, 30, no, 30, 40, 40, that's weird. Oh, no, 33 to, 33 to 40. Yeah, that's eight. So, yeah, that's that A1. Then now we come to B. B is usually a sod. Is the, okay, I forgot to show you something else. Um, Here it is. Okay. So usually the male movements stay in the same key. For example, on Gesticia in this case, um, we have B minor. And later in the, the in the B section, it's also the B minor. A section two B minor. But female movements, instead, it goes from, for example, I'm a bow couple, the second movement, B flat. Actually, no, let's not take that example. Um, okay, let's do Vangelo. Vangelo, A minor. But then the B section, it transfers to its relative key. Um, it goes to C major. It goes to the relative key, then back to A minor. So let's do this. Main key signature and the relative key. I don't know if this is how you say it, but please don't judge. And again, main key signature. This one, it's just main key signature throughout the whole entire thing. Yeah, that's it. All right. Now back to here. So this still B minor, correct? B minor. So then this is from, yeah, so this is B1. Bar is 41 to 49, not, not, not 9, 48. No, 49, actually. Wait, what? Excuse me. That's 45, that's 47, 48, 49. Whoa, whoa, it's a 49. I can't expostulate with that. Uh, wait, what? It's not. Oh. My mouse just throws. 
or is it the internet again? Okay. Oh, I also forgot to say something. Oh, shoot. Okay. Why do I keep forgetting to say something? <laughs> okay. Back to the whiteboard again. <laughs> um, we'll go back to this. So, usually the A1 in the second A usually has a slight variation, has a slight variation. Right? Can you guys see the cursor? I have no idea. Um, so usually the A1 first, A, first A1, and the second A1, it's the same, but it would differ from the first A1 and the first A1 too. So the first, first A1 and then first, first second A1, <laughs> tongue twister, and then second, first A1, second A1, then second, oh gosh, <laughs> this is too confusing to say, but um, yeah, you guys should get the point. So different, so A section, A1, A1 is usually same. And then, it, then the second A, A1, A1, these have a variation between this and this. If I don't know if you guys can understand. So, um, but you guys should, if you guys know music theory, I don't know if you guys do, but um, I honestly don't know how, they not know how to explain this either. So we, first, yeah, right? We have this, this is the first day ones. Basically the first day one, in yeah, the first day one, right? Then we come to the second variation of this or same thing. Oh, I forgot. Um, okay, we're gonna have to transfer a lot of times. This, sorry if this makes you dizzy. Um, so first, from the A section, to introduce the A section, we have A2 again. We have the A2. So A2 goes first, then A1, and then it's basically, that's how you, that's how the male movements are introduced. So yeah. Then we have A2 again, here, bar 96 to bar 72, then 73, 83, to 7, to 80. Uh, yeah, and then 81 to, 84, uh, 83, then 84 to 84 to the 84 to 92 A1, and then the introduction again to end, and then it ends with the fade out section. I mean, a fade out effect. And yeah, that's movement one. Now, movement two. It's the special one because this does not naturally follow the original, the original format of the... This one is special because it doesn't follow the main usual format for the female movements, if you understand. Because this one, that's why this is one is the most special female, especially because I wrote it for my crush. Um, this one, the beginning, we have the introduction of the chord progression. We have to be flat minor. You guys can see. You're not gonna see. We have the B flat minor. We are about to be C sharp. Then again. Then. That's the A1, but this does not follow, remember, this does not follow the main female movement, even though it's the first female movement. Um, it does not follow the main, main, main thing. It does not follow the main. Ah, I can't talk anymore. It does not follow the main format. <laughs> so we begin with the introduction of the, introduction of the, with the chord progressions. This, 
this one's 16 pages long. The longest I think is either Triumphal or Aoto 20 pages long. And then we have the A1. So this one is very weird. I mean, the format is different. So A1, then A1 again with a slight variation. Then we come to A2 from 49 to 56. Then A3 to end the A section. Then the B section. This one's interesting because this one is actually very intriguing. You know, <laughs> I know you guys were like, I composed this. Why Why are you so like surprised? I know, I'm not surprised. I'm just showing you. It's very intriguing because this sort is sort of mixed with the relative key. It's B flat minors, relative key is C flat, D flat minor. And then it's mixed. The A section and the B section is like mixed. A mix of B flat minor and C D flat minor. And then we have the B section. The B section, instead of going to the relative key, C, D flat, this one goes, stays the same. Da, 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 da. It does not change to its relative key. It does not transpose. It's made to be, it's, this one is also my favorite movement um, because I use my, one of my favorite movements, especially, <laughs> definitely, you guys should understand. <laughs> Usually, everyone wants for the best order crushed. Am I correct? So the B section ends at bar 88. Then to the A section. This one is the least the, the introduction. And deletes the first. Oh, wait, it doesn't delete the first A1. And then A1 again. A1. Um, give me a second. So, I mean, give me a sec. Why did I say section? So then we have the we have the A1 again. And then we have the slight variation. This one is inspired by Alcan Contrida solo for solo piano. This is the same technique. And then this this is B A1 2. Um, then, no, th this one is really long, too. Um, 120, R121. Oh, that's an odd number. <laughs> odd number. <laughs> and then we have the, this one is also intriguing. Usually, um, when you transfer, usually you have a two bar. But instead, I put in only one bar. It just, I just did it. And no specific purpose, but just it's usually weird. It's weird. And instead, usually each movement has a pause. I mean, each movement has a pause between the B section and the A section, the second A section. But this one does not. This one just directly goes, it directly goes through. Um, I mean, Three also has that, but usually the others don't don't have this. Don't have this. Doesn't have this. Oh, except for Bravita as well. Um. Yeah. Okay. Then A two. Then A three. A three. Then we have a new introducing. We introduce this climax. This is the only movement that has such a climax at the end, especially. This one is the only one with the climax at the end. Everyone has every movement, like nearly every movement, probably, I think has a climax. Climax. But this one is a climatic ending. And then it's kind of D flat minor, D flat major, I mean, and then it ends on D flat. And then it just dance uh, of the classic E flat minor. To make the magical effect. <laughs> if you guys don't understand music theory and did, don't understand this, I'm sorry. <laughs> Worry you. Um, all right, then now the third movement. This one, this one has the introduction. Um, this one has an introduction. I usually, I think, 
the only the only two that doesn't have an introduction like as is like Smeraldo and Oliva. These two don't have an introduction, but the the other three have. So this one, the introducing the main thing. Wait a minute, why is it? Oh gosh, I messed up the key signature. Why is it F mine major? <laughs> okay, I gotta change that. Um. I I thought I I didn't I, I, I just realized this is weird. Huh. Why did I change that to F major? So weird. Okay, so anyways, so the this is da, 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 okay, and then we have the variation. Da, 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 da. All right, we want to have the newest version on the on, on this one though. Um, I only got these PDFs like yesterday. Um, just a few there. So then we have the A. We have the introduction. Then this is the A one. This one. This one is the classic format. A one, A two, then A one. Classic female female movement format. Seventeen to uh. So this is the using the broke chord progression if you don't know bro. Like Mimi. Uh, classic bro chord progression used in a lot of Mozart, Haydn, um I think Vivaldi too. Yeah, Vivaldi spring, spring and winter, both of them. And a lot of them has this chord progression. And I use this too. I saw someone commented that what this sounds like Paganini Caprice Tonho. And I said it's the chord world chord progression. It's not it's not an original chord progression by Paganini, just to tell you guys. Um so then this B this A2 is the longest one of out of all of them. The last uh, 20 from bar 17 to bar 30. Wow, that was 14 bars. Wow. Okay. Um, then let's do, oh wait, it's not bar, <laughs> bar 28, my bad. Um, so then now A2 again, no, A1, A1, my bad. Then to the relative key, and then it ends on, and then the C major relative key of A minor. And then repeat from here. I mean, the theme is the the melody changed a bit, and then but the chord progressions are just. I mean, it's just basically B one B one, but um, with a slight change. Then we have a slight change up to A one. Uh, then yeah, A two, and then A one again. A one again from here. Then we have a repeat of that. Da, 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 da. I think. Wait. Yeah, that I don't even know my own composition. Well, um, so it's a repeat to make it to end it. Um, then and then it goes. Da, 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 da. I can't sing. Sorry. Um, I have perfect pitch, but I can't sing. <laughs> Thirteen pages long. All right. Force movement. Wait, what? No. It's not what I meant. Um, fourth movement, Oliva. A lot of people like this movement. I, a friend of mine likes this movement very much. Um, but G sharp minor, relative key B major. This one is just a classic format of the female movements. And say again, A1. Da, 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 da. This one has it. Oh, I just realized. Oh, I just remember this one has it. I forget, I don't remember this. Well, I, I composed this like. Long, but long, pretty long. <laughs> um, the the climax here. That's the climax. Yeah, that's yeah. Okay, so that's not a bit change because there's an A one here and then another A one with a slight variation, louder and it's a, a octaves this time. Then it's the A two section da, 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 to to make it more. Add a female texture, you know what I mean? Just make it more beautiful instead of like just going. Da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da. 
um, I remember I composed this like on a Tuesday or something. <laughs> That's the, only I remember. the main thing. Da, 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 da. I composed that on a Tuesday. And then the, da, 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 the beautiful B, B2, B1 section. Then we have the, and then we have the A1 again. I mean, the B2, the A2 repeats like two times, but yeah. And then A1. Then I did a glitter effect on with the triplets. The yeah, this is like this B actually has no form, absolute form. So this one is also different from the others. And then we have the and yeah, then. Yeah, then it's a repeat. So, and then it ends, it ends on a couple of dissonant chords. It goes something like that. I can't, I can't. Go. Listening chords. So this is just make it climb more sort of an ending. All right, then five, the middle. Oh, well, this one written for rhyme. You should know already. I said that, that like in the in the original videos. Um, so this one is the most special male movement as well because he's a good friend. I just made something more special for him. More special out of the, all the male movements, cause you'll see. So this one instead, of, okay. First, it already begins with the special thing. Instead of going like very epic, I put it. So it's the. Sounds like the my room has that. Sounds like my romance is C-sharp minor, but it isn't. And this one, yeah, so then it begins with the soft end. Suspicious, like especially with these staccata and then for TCC mode then that's how it goes to the A1 section this is that's the introduction and then it goes to the A1 section it's marching marching speaker this is what I like I like this rhythm You can see here, you can see this, and then this, and then this one is also uh, not the longest A two section actually. And then yeah, and then this. The, the, wait, this is now yeah A two section. And then A three. It's like it's usually A1 and A3 have the same theme, just a bit variation. But it's basically, yeah. Uh, one and five, Retitudine and Gustitia, the two of them have. Uh, let me say this. Uh, have the B A three with the same melodies, but the other two, Triumphal and Aoto, they wait. No, wait, Triumphal. Okay, yeah, no, Triumphal has a different one as well, and yeah. Oh, I forgot also. Four also is special. 
Very special, especially because it changes time. It's the first one that changes time signature in the middle of the piece. Four, four, then three, four, then back to four, four, three, four. So um, yeah, anyways. And yeah, so this one, then A2 again, you can see, then A1 again. Then now this one is the only one with the epic B, B section as well. It's it's B1, B1 as well. The B section is the, the Rititine is the only one with an epic B section. The rest of them is like flowing or very slow. But this one, it's fast. It just keeps going fast. And then that, that's the same. That it sounds like the more the Grand Fantasy of 17. I mean, not really, but it does kind of have some similarities. Then, yeah, then. It keeps going on, keeps going on, keeps going on, keeps going on. And then here. This, okay, this is the special part, A section two. Instead of repeating, actually, no, not, not, this is not the only one that has this, but it's the first one. You have the A2 section cut in half. And then put in as the introduction. Because the A, B, yeah. And then, yeah, and then A1 again, A2 again, with this, with the, instead of just the octave, it's just the major triad, uh, D major triad, but the, which is the dominant, I think, or I don't know, I don't remember which one is tom dominant and which one is tonic, sorry. Um, then, the A3. Here's what gets interesting. Instead of going back to A2, instead of going back to A2 and A1, this one goes straight from A3 then to the introduction. That's what's made special for this one. And then it has this new theme da -da 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 to close to close it off, obviously. And then da -da 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 it's a kind of La Campanella, Grand Fantasy, uh, uh, not Grand Fantasy, what am I saying? Grand AT, Dave Paganini, one S1 for what? Uh, list, list, La Campanella. This is kind of the same technique, but then to, with these giant chords. Da -da 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 yeah, that's Rititude and A, 14 pages. Okay, yeah, Triumphal is the longest one. You guys like this one really a lot. You guys like this really a lot. And surprisingly, this was written for my friend's birthday. I mean, the guy, you, you guys know, Tristan. Tristan from Prophets 1, and then also a couple of other episodes. Um, this the sixth movement. And also, yeah, this one is... Yeah, okay. Let's just go dive straight. So first, they dive straight in, I mean. <laughs> um, so first, from bar one to bar... Yeah, this one is really a long one. Yeah. I mean, no, the, I mean by pages. <laughs> the first introduction already lasts, lasts an entire two pages long. And then, yeah, the, the bar 16. The same number of bars. Then it's the staggered chords. It's also very fast. 201 beats. Uh, then, I think it also contains the slowest B section. And this one, I think it also contains the longest A section, A1 section as well. Um, no, I'm not totally sure. 71 to 40, that does sound big. <laughs> um, then 41 to, yeah, this, it sounds a lot, it looks a lot like the girl states the B A2 section. It sounds a lot like the A2 section of Gostitia. Also, these are made to sound like um, parallels, mirror images of each other. So as rectitude in A as the middle, then these two are supposed to be mirror images. Oliva Triumpho. Then um I mean, this is this is a couple. 
Um, Van Gelo and Ioto. Wait, this is not Ioto. Yeah, this Ioto. Then Amabo Capo to Smarada. Then Justitia to Brevita. And yeah. It's just, uh, I just took this idea from uh, host to uh, the planet suite because it's just also mirror images of each other. So triumph in this one. And then this one is also special because it's, again, it changes the... It's also the first one to have the 3-4. I mean, no, it's not the first one. I mean, the main time signature is the... It's the first one to have the main time signature as of 3-4. And then the A2 section goes to four. Wait, let's see. No, A2 goes to 4-4. Four, four. A3 too, right? Yeah, A3 is also 4-4. Four, four. Then A2 again, and then it goes to the A1, which go back, goes back to 3-4. The main theme is always 3-4. Then the B section, it's also, I think it's also the slowest male B section, slow B section. It's the slowest one, I think. 60 beats per second. Yeah, it's the slowest one. <laughs> it is the slowest one, yeah. And then now, yeah, then goes to the, then goes to A2. A2, yeah, A2 to the introduce A section. And then to A1, the variation, and then it, I did, I messed up, I just played around with the articulation. And then A2 again. And then A3. And the, the, the rhythm is actually changes a lot. So this one is special. This one is special. Not the most special because the rectitude in A is the most special one. It's the fat, it's the 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 tempo changes frequently. Especially in the A section, it changes like three times. No, five times. It changes th five times, three separate tempos, four separate tempos in the whole piece. No, five separate tempos in the whole piece. And then f four, wait, three. Wait. <laughs> yeah, three separate tempos in A section, one in the introduction and then one in the B section. So six separate tempos. Yeah, and then the introduction to close it off. And then this one, this one does not enter into the fade out effect. Yeah, the fade out effects I decided to be the ones that, just Justin and Aiden, they are the funniest people I've ever met with. So I just decided that most, the funniest people, the people who are very funny, I did out with the fade out effect. So. Yeah, it's, these are the only two that have the fade out effect. The more brandy, seven, Ioto. And yeah, so this one, it's, the, it's a very, it's very epic little, yeah, I liked it. I, yeah, I, with a, it's very, it's, it's difficult and it's very, yeah, the introduction, right? Dun, da, 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 and then A1. Then A2. Then A3. Using the Garbara chord progression. The octaves change the octaves. And then A2 again. And then A3. I mean, wait, what let me say? A1, 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 the piece is F minor, right? But it's relative key is A flat mi major. It kind of changes the E flat major. 
And yeah, it's, uh, it's a glittery effect as well. Made it glittery. Here, yeah, A flat major chord, you see? And then the transpose is the A flat major, and then F minor again. It just repeats two times, like B1, B1. And then, yeah, and then the F, and then you have the A2 again. Then A1, then A A1 has a this one has a slight the first second half has a variation. And then yeah, then the A2, A3, then A2, A3, I mean A2, A1, and then this one has a slight variation as well. It changed it cha this one builds up to the introduction, back to the introduction ending. Instead of going straight toward it, like the other ones, this one builds up to it. <laughs> then the introduction again, and then the fade out effect, you see, you can see the decrescendo here. And then, it's very similar. This one is very similar to Gestitia, actually. And yeah, Smeralda, second to last. Uh, second to last movement, and also the second to last female movement. And yes, and yeah, yeah. So a one, a two, da 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 da. Yeah, and then A1. Then it's a, then to the B. B also has no form, no total form for this B section. So that's it's also different from the others. And then Uh, it's a giant B section as well. Then yeah, and then A one, A two, and then A one again to close it off. I changed it up a bit, and then I use the slow section. Da, 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 da. I don't remember <laughs> the others. I can't sing. All right, we come to the last one, and then we'll end this. Um, Revita. It's this one is actually this one it was actually really difficult to play because it's it's very difficult to make. It's very difficult, trust me. Because because I didn't want this one to be the most special. I but also the second movement, the dedicated person, my crush. And the ninth movement is also his, my crush's sister as well. So I wanted to make it kind of similar, the two of them be similar but i did not want them to be absolutely similar or else the brevita will be more special than the second one we do not want nine to be more special than the second one because i wanted to close with absolute despair and especially i wrote this one suona la intero uh, don't judge my italian speaking suona li intero pizza pizza con absoluta agonia which means play the piece with absolute agony because this person, my crush's sister, brought absolute despair to my life. A lot of despair, especially from April 3rd. And especially if it fits also to make this to be a mirror image of one Gustitia. This one, this one it was also very difficult to come up with. Because, yeah, this is also my only and my second piece to be in E flat and minor. I mean, a more for any grand fantasy, I also had that, but that was more easier, obviously, because they had the same themes throughout. Um, but this one, it's E flat minor, guys. Six flat, E flat, D flat, B flat, E flat. I mean, that does not technically make it difficult to compose. But the thing is, it was absolutely 
difficult. I, even though I completed this one in only one day, I it took a lot of work. That's why, that's why I didn't upload that much work yesterday. I mean, I uploaded like three videos. I know, <laughs> but it's not my compositions at least I uh, composed. Yeah, that didn't take that much. Yeah, this one took a lot of work. And yeah, this one, it, you can see there is similarities between the, yeah. This one follows the form. Uh, and it also has the same, you guys can see that there's chords here, broken chord. This is this melancholic beginning. Try to make it as sad as possible. Uh, okay, we need to look at these two. Uh, we're going to specialize at these two for a moment. So, see, you got also you have the first melody, main melody. You have the, I mean, it's all with chords, and both of these are similar because these are both with broken chords as with the melody. <laughs> Then you have the climactic. Um, this one follows mainly the main format of the female movements, but just very melancholic. Then do you have this? Uh, I want the, the the right hand chords, downward E flat minor chord uh, chords. Um, uh, this one does not have that though. <laughs> and this one, you can see there is a difference here. Like, my crush has brought a lot of joy, jollity to my life. But his her sisters brought me absolute despair. So it's like two different, it's like absolute, instead of it's one to nine it's like one to two it not no i'm not, not one to two nine to ten nine nine to two it's like absolute mirror images mirror images of each other mirror image images totally separate and different totally different stuff like one brings jollity one brings absolute melancholy you will just imagine that and yeah it's very like two different things here. There's two different, totally different people here. You have this A2. You have this totally downward melancholic downward E flat minor scale. Strike the key with agony. It's you, you or me. That's what I want for if someone plays this piece. I think that's in there. Oh, wait, no, it strikes back to the. It goes back to the. Yeah, so you can see how I try to portray as much agony as possible in this. And then, yeah, it goes back. Then I added this part. This B section is. Uh, I did this uh, catchy little B section to lighten it up, but it's still agony. I tried to, it's. Uh, this part is actually really interesting as well. Now, this part is actually inspired by the Rachmaninoff uh, prelude. C sharp minor. This part. You know, 
music can convey emotions. I think that's how I got safe. Forgot. Then you have to beat one with second B one with the slight variation. It's the staggered part. With Paula here, I have a bit. I just took in some techniques from different to still. That's how I compose usually. I take ideas of how the techniques go and then I put them in my own melodies and my own way. That's how I compose usually with to make it difficult. That's what I want. Arduity, arduity is my main motive. Um, they get this. Then you have this part. Uh, this part is really, this one is really difficult to play. It, it, the speed is your option, but this is the recommended speed. So you don't need to totally follow the speed I gave, but try to at least do, do achieve the speed. Then, then I'm not gonna go through this because you guys should know. But this one, the ending. So you tend to make that match. To make the magical free fire. You guys don't know, but I like to compose pieces with the dominance. Dominant sevens. If you don't know, I like them dominant sevens. They're all my pieces. There are a ton of dominant sevens. Um, and especially this way, I use this magical moment to convey. That's how it should sound. That's that. <sighs> some of these took some of these pieces, some of these movements take some time. Some of them just take only less than one day, sometimes even. But music conveys language, it conveys emotions. And music, that's why music is the ultimate one. Music is, the, especially classic music, you can see everywhere. It's sometimes like Shostakovich. Shostakovich is like the perfect example. Like, for example, you know, World War II, and then he, under the pressure of USSR, the commun communists, um, the, everyone was like, I mean, Shostakovich was under so much pressure. He was banned from composing music that was like, well, uh, like inspired by the Western culture, like uh, Europe. Europe. And that's how, before that, all his pieces were like so joyful and very, you know, exuberant. But afterwards, everything just came to Molokov. Just afterwards, all of his symphonies were like war inspired. Have you heard his violin concerto? It's the most difficult, the most difficult piece of the piano, violin repertoire. One of the most difficult pieces for the violin repertoire. It's, despair that first movement it's absolute despair i'm gonna show you uh, i'm gonna get a copyright claim but it's worth it it's worth it but you i suggest to you guys to listen so um uh, 
Must tear piece. It's must tear. Um, it's a must tear piece. This is just the COVID issue. Well, we can do that. Internet. <laughs> Uh, uh, okay, no, I'm not going to use that one. This is too many pages. Uh, last dude. How are you guys doing, by the way? Tired? What are you doing? Um... I'll put it on right now, but must be your piece by Shostakovich. Check it out right after this video. And we end this video today right now. I hope you enjoyed this sterile analysis of how I composed the entire Amor Perni suite of 24, this giant suite of 37 minutes, nine movements. I hope you enjoy. Please subscribe. Please like this video. Spread the word. Hey, I'll see you next time. Do.